I'm sitting here next to my spin bike and I'm going to see if I can replace this crank arm here and salvage this thing. What's happening, Panda Nation? Peter Von Panda here. Uh, this is my Poo Boo spin bike. It's kind of the same spin bike you can get on Amazon. They have a lot of these that are, I think, just rebranded. So it's pretty typical. This one uses that fiberglass type of friction brake right there. I've got my other one over there that uses magnetic, but from a user standpoint, you can't really tell. But one of the things that's happened here is this little crank arm with the pedal has broken. Let me show you. All right, so you can see this pedal is angled here, and I actually thought the pedal became um, unscrewed. And so I was like, oh, I'll just thread lock that sucker in there. But what you might be able to see here is that this is actually split. It's broken that open. And one of the reasons here is they just don't use a strong enough material for my leg strength. My weight has nothing to do with this. Nothing to do with this. It's my leg strength. And this cheap steel that they use is easily broken under my leg strength. And so you can see it's just broken it there. And so what I'm gonna have to do is try to unscrew this. Hopefully there's some thread still on the pedal. But what I did do is I went online and I found replacement crank arms. And I think these are the same length. I think they're 170 millimeters if I'm not mistaken. And then I found this little kit here and it has hopefully everything that I need, although I could go to my tools, but I'm hoping this has everything that I need to replace it. So it's got kind of a couple of tools where you will undo the nut that's holding that in. But then you basically have to kind of jack or pull the crank arm off. So it's kind of like pulling off a steering wheel and stuff like that when they're really pressed on there. So that's what this piece there is for. Hopefully I will be able to show you all of this, but let's see if I can get this pedal off first and then we'll get this crank arm off hopefully and try to install the new one. And hopefully I've got the right parts and hopefully it'll all work. Otherwise, I think the whole thing is a lost cause. All right, I tried to use a wrench to get that off, but the threading in there must be kind of jacked up because I can't get this off here. And so that is the first failure here. So I think I'm gonna have to try to buy a new pedal as well. So the next thing I wanna try to do here is get this off. There's a little dust cover that I've already taken off, a little plastic dust cover, but you can see, oh, I don't know, it looks like a 10 millimeter socket right there. But in the kit that I got, we have three pieces here. I think this is more if there is a spline that you have to line up. This is the tool I think I will use to remove that nut. And then it does come with this little wrench here. So it's kind of nice because if you're not set up with a lot of tools, you know, just having everything that you need in the kit that you order is pretty nice. So the first thing I'm going to do here is just put that on there and see if that works. Seems like it does. Might have to disconnect the lower portion here to get the wrench on there. So I think I can just unscrew the bottom part here, which is the puller part. So take that off. And then once you get that off, you can just put that over the nut here. And then I think lefty loosey. So I am just going to try to uh, torque this off. You're probably going to need to hold or stand on this part of the crank arm to make sure that it doesn't turn the whole thing, right? You can probably assist that by tightening down the brake there as well. So let's try to turn this thing and get it off. All right. All right, got that off. It's on there pretty tight, but once it loosens up, it comes right off. Now we need to pull this thing off, and I think this piece, the larger piece here, and I think this is 22 millimeters, is going to screw in here. And basically what this is doing is it's attaching itself to the crank arm itself. And then what you're gonna use is the other end of this screw here to thread in here to actually push on the hub of this and actually just kind of walk the crank arm off so you do want to get this on here kind of as far as you want to as you think you can put this on first because otherwise you're not going to get it over the fat end of this okay i can feel it stopping there so again now i'm gonna righty tighty this and again you're just gonna kind of want to pull down the crank arm or lock the wheel so that you don't let the pedals turn. Kind of wish this were a little longer just to give me a little more leverage. Let's 
All right, once you get it going, it starts to kind of work that off. So now I can see the crank arm coming off here. All right, and now we have got this off and I'm gonna take off all my stuff here. And then what we are gonna do is see if the new crank arm will fit. Here's the old broken one. And what I really like about it is the new one looks exactly the same, same shape. Probably all come from the same factory. Now, the other thing you wanna do is make sure that these existing crank arms are 180 degrees apart because you don't want them to be exactly opposite, not lined up. So I'm gonna move that one horizontally and then kind of put this one on, Let's see if that looks good. And then what we can do is we can put this nut back on. And what this nut is gonna do is it's actually going to kind of press the crank arm back on as I tighten it down. So the nice thing is just getting it off was probably three quarters of the work, but putting it on is actually just like one quarter of the work, hopefully. So now I can just reverse this, put this back here, get it started by hand threading it on. Now there's some resistance. Now hopefully just start tightening the sun and looks like I can see the crank arm kind of pushing in there. So still gonna need to muscle this on here. All right, so I think I've got this on here and then I have a replacement pedal. So I think this is the right one for the right side here. So I'm just gonna see if I can hand start this so that I don't cross thread it. Look at me, I'm spinning, I'm spinning. It is repaired and now I'm just gonna go ahead and burn like 10,000 calories by spinning uphill for oh, 100 miles. You know, and probably do uh, 80, 90 miles an hour along the way. So if you wanna repair your crank arm and your spin bike, I'll put a link to everything you need in the description below. Peter Von Panda, out. We can risk up more so much deeper We can live better than Ever things to Peter Peter Von Pe